Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concept. So today let's talk a little bit about epoxy primer. So of course you can see on our website, we have tons of different primers available, but we wanted to talk about the epoxy primer, what you need to use it for, what you don't need to use it for, as well as anything about mixing or spraying or anything like that, we're gonna to try to cover in this video. So that way you can get the best results possible out of this product. So of course, the first thing is, is this is an epoxy primer. If you don't know what an epoxy primer is, it is mainly for bare metal applications. Epoxies are really good on direct to metal applications, but they also do have a lot of other nice benefits. They usually have a lot better chemical resistance whenever you're dealing with say gasoline or lacquer thinner or any of the chemicals that you might encounter, as well as the epoxies do tend to flex a lot more. So we use this quite a bit whenever we're doing plastic parts and things like that. And so that's going to be something that's really great to use for those items. Now, a couple of things to remember on this. This does mix two to one. So you have two parts of your primer to one part of the hardener. Now, that's still going to be a really thick primer. But if you'll notice on the back of this, it does actually have other mixing instructions and that's going to be to mix it as a sealer. And so we actually do recommend using that as a sealer as much as possible. So that way it slicks everything out, sprays out really nice and everything looks really good. So then you can of course go directly over that with your base coat and you're ready to go. So a couple of things about this primer. This primer is not going to be one that you spray it on and then you're sanding in 30 minutes. Because it's an epoxy primer, just like most other epoxy primers, they are going to dry a lot slower. So it may be a few hours before you can even put the first piece of sandpaper on there to start sanding. So definitely keep that in mind. If you're needing a high build primer, we have some other options available. They're on the website, but this might not be the best one for that application. But let's say that you have a uh, bare metal or you're doing anything that might already have a really slick, smooth finish on it, and you're just wanting to get a good bond and something that's going to protect it and really hold the coating really well, this is going to be your starting point. So this right here, mixed as a sealer, what we like to do is, is go at a two to one to one. So two parts of the primer, one part of the activator, and of course, one part of the reducer. Now, again, in some VOC restricted areas, you may need to go at a half part, but that's going to be dependent on where you're at. So of course, a couple of things to remember on this, this is not going to be a direct to plastic primer. Now, it will normally stick fairly well, but it's not meant to be made to go directly to plastic. So what we like to try to do is, is we will spray an adhesion promoter over the plastic itself and then apply the primer as a sealer over that plastic. And so what that does is, is it gives the primer something to really bond to because the adhesion promoter is on there first and the adhesion promoter bonds really well to the plastic. And then of course you have your sealer on top of here. Now the nice thing about this right here, whenever you mix it up as a sealer is that it is of course a little bit slower drying, but if you spray it and everything sprays out slick and smooth, which it should, then you can literally mix up your base coat no need to sand, no need to do anything. So of course you're gonna be saving a lot more time in between the primer and the base coat to then go ahead and just spray your base coat directly over this primer. And of course, over time, as the primer dries, it's gonna stay open and then your base coat's going to lay down on top of it. And then as it dries, it's going to lock that base coat in and then you're going to have a much stronger coating overall at the end of the day, especially whenever you're doing your hydrographics or anything like that. This is definitely one of the main primers that we use on the entire shop. Now, what kind of application would we use this for? So we would use this for uh, number one, you can have already factory painted parts. 
a good scuff or a good blast, spray this as a sealer over the top of it, and then you're ready to go. Of course, if you're doing guns or anything like that, this is going to be a great primer as well because it's going to be a direct to metal. And so with something like this, you're talking aluminum or cold rolled steel, stainless steel, any of those metals like that, it's going to hold up really well. It's gonna stick really well and you're gonna get a really great coating. And of course, you're also looking at plastics if you do like what I was talking about earlier with the adhesion promoter. Other nice thing about this is that you can spray it over wood. You can also spray it over fiberglass. You can spray it over pretty much anything that you have. And so that's kind of why we like this primer a lot because it is a very well versed primer that it's pretty much a one primer that all that we need for the entire shop. Now, again, if we're looking for a filler primer or we're needing something to sand really quickly, we're gonna be using a different primer. But in this case, with this right here, if you've already got a smooth part or you've already got factory painted parts or something like that, and you're just trying to scuff them and get a good foundation for your coating to stick really well, this is the primer that you're going to be using, especially when mixed at that sealer ratio at two to one to one or two to one to a half. Of course, if you have any other questions, we're gonna have a technical data sheet that comes with, of course, these right here that you can download on the website. Uh, also, for more information, definitely check out the website. It has everything that you're gonna need for that, as well as if you need other supplies for hydrographics in general, the website is definitely the way to go, liquidconcepts.com. We have everything from films to equipment to training and so much more. It's all there, all categorized, super easy to check out and everything. So definitely check that out if you get a few minutes. And of course, we're gonna have links in the description below in case you're interested in trying to use some of these. Uh, of course, in this right here, we do have a quart package as well as a gallon package. So if you're doing more production work or if you're doing just one-offs, we've got you covered either way. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd always love to hear from you as well as definitely hit that like button and the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything hydrographics related. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.